So all we have to do is first give our menu a name and it can be anything you want. Nobody's going to see it besides you. So you could even name it menu one and that would be fine. That's actually what I'm going to call it. And once you give it a name, you can just click on create menu. And then also to make sure under here where it says display location, make sure this primary box is ticked. That's just going to make sure that it shows up here at the top of your site right here. Now we're going to go over here to where it says add menu items and we're going to either add pages, posts, custom links, or categories to our menu. Now this all depends on what you guys want to show up in your menu. But like I said earlier about the categories, that's actually what I'm going to add here first. And if you look down here, you're not going to see any of the categories that we created. But if you go to view all, you'll see all the different categories that we did create. And now I'm just going to go and select the ones that I want to show up in the menu. So I'm going to select this one, these right here, and this one, and this one. Then I'm going to click on Add to Menu. And as you can see right here, all of these are actually main categories. And like I explained before, with the um, food category, and the subcategory being chicken, I'm actually going to need to take this. If I want this category to be a subcategory to this one, I'm just going to take this, select it, hold it, and then move it over to the side. If you can see the box kind of changes right there. If I put it down there, it's now a sub item. And then if you guys want to rearrange any of these, like maybe you want this one to be up here, you can go through and just switch them up. In whatever order that these are in, for example, this destinations one, this category is going to be the first category in the menu. And then this is going to be number two, three, and so on. And if you guys want to, say you wanted to create a link that just links out to your home page, so you have a, a home button right here, all you would have to do is paste your website link right here. So for example, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to paste that right there, and I'm going to call this Home. I'm going to click Add to Menu. And then we now have a Home button right here that I'm actually going to put that first. And then also, too, if you guys wanted to maybe create a contact page or an About Me page or anything like that, this is where you would find it. All you would do is go up here to Pages. And pages are just like posts. They're pretty much the same thing. They look exactly the same. So all you would do is, say for example, you wanted to make a contact page, you could just put contact us. Then you could even go on Google and figure out how to write a good contact page and then write your contact info down here. And then once you publish that page, you would just come back here and then refresh this and that page would show up right here. And then you would just add that to the menu right here. And then so once you have everything in the order that you want it, all you would do is come down here where it says save menu. And like I said, make sure this display location, this primary is selected. You just click on save menu. And now our menu has been saved. So if we go here to our page, we refresh it. You'll notice here's all our different menu items. And if you look under food, there's a subcategory right there, and that's how easy it is to create a menu.